Hey guys, how's everyone doing? I want to share some information with you that is quite startling. In a world of birth control and abortion here in the United States and elsewhere, and the number of Christian families as well as other regular American families, um, the number of children they have dwindle. We have a problem coming. This is a report on the world's changing demographics, some uh, numbers, and this is just pure numbers. But we've got a problem. The future that our children will inherit could possibly be an Islamic caliphate. They may find themselves living under Sharia law and uh, have to deal with all that. And it's not a good thing as far as I see it. In order for a culture to maintain itself for more than 25 years, required fertility rate has to be above 2.11 children per family. So basically there needs to be more than two children per family. There really needs to be three. And it's simple math. A 2.11 is required to maintain a civilization any culture 1.9 is never reversed 1.3 is impossible to reverse 80 to 100 years to correct itself that's how long it would take and the fertility you know the birth rate would have to be like <laughs> five and six kids per family to reverse that with what's left. See, if you've got two couples and they each have one kid, okay, and that couple has one kid, that's one, two generations. Two generations, you've reduced your population from four to one. 2006, the number of people in the workforce. 2026, the number of people going into the workforce. It's pure numbers, pure mathematics, and fact. This is cut in half. There's 50% less people going to be entering into the workforce. Maybe more. And that's 20 years. France right now has a fertility rate of 1.8. Impossible to reverse. England, 1.6. Impossible to reverse. Greece, 1.3. Germany, 1.3. Italy, 1.2. Spain, 1.1. All of these impossible to reverse. European Union, 31 countries fertility rate averages 1.38%. That's impossible to reverse. Population will dwindle. The problem that we are facing right now is the Islamic immigration. Muslim families are immigrating to other countries in the world and having an average of about four children per family. That's an average. Some are having eight, some are having three, but none of them have below because they know this, you see. 
This country, 1.8 per family. The Islamic family comes in, 8.1 per family. You see the problem here? Not an immediate problem, but 20 years down the road, there's a problem. 30% of children age 20 and younger are Islamic. In 2027, one in five Frenchmen will be Muslim. In 39 years, France will be an Islamic Republic. And France is already in big trouble with the Muslim situation, Islamic situation over there. They're already having problems. They're already accepting Sharia law in some parts. Okay? That's gone from 82,000 being Muslim to 2.5 million being Muslim within 20 years. Do you see where that can be a problem for the United States, for the world? Islam wants to have a world caliphate. They have wanted to dominate the world as a religion ever since the Prophet Muhammad wrote the Quran. And that's where the, you know, the Christian freaking whole thing over there, you know, the Oh, shoot, what's it called? The the Crusades, you know? That's what that was all about. They knew. They knew what was going on. Except now, Christians don't fight. Christians are passive. They allow bygones to be bygones. They allow um, stuff to go on. I'm not saying that that shouldn't be the case. I'm saying that Christians need to have children. They need to procreate the earth. They need to stop getting abortions and stop using birth control as much as they do. Now, I know that the powers that be are trying their best to squash all religions of Christian nature, even Islamic religious nature. Fifty percent of all newborns will be Muslim. And then twenty years after that, I mean, come on, it's pure math. Pure math. That's all it takes is pure math and adding it up. In 15 years, half the population will be Muslim, okay? 23 million Muslims in France. One in five. In Russia, 23 million Muslims. One in five. Forty percent of the Russian army will be Islamic in just a few years. I think they're already just about there. Um, there's major problems with that right now. 25% of the population. 50% of all newborns are Muslim. With 25% of the population being Muslim. Because they have more children. Because they have twice as many kids. Three times, four times as many children as other people. One-third of all European children will be born to Muslim families by 2025. And this is a fact, people. By 2050, that number will be two-thirds. They will be the majority. And that's just 17 years away for the one-third. Germany, they've got big problems. 
the fall in the German population can no longer be stopped. Its downward spiral is no longer reversible. See, lower than a, one, a two point whatever, less than two kids, it's impossible to reverse. You really need three kids to, you know, replace you and your spouse. You got one extra. I mean, you're looking at war, accidents, sickness, disease. And it could very well take that third child out of the equation. Um, but yeah, German Germans, it will be a Muslim state by the year 2050. And that is a fact because of Islamic immigration, legal Islamic immigration. You know this guy, Omar Gaddafi, the guy they murdered over there, and they took him out. He was introducing gold into the uh, as the um, currency to buy oil. They took him out. He's in. He's a Muslim. He said there are signs that Allah will grant victory to Islam in Europe without swords, without guns, without conquest. We don't need terrorists. We don't need homicide bombers. The 50 plus million Muslims in Europe will turn it into a Muslim continent within a few decades. Omar Gaddafi said that. And he's absolutely right. We've seen it start to happen. 52 million Muslims in Europe. Equal 104 million. You see how it goes? Now look at Canada. Right now, Canada has a 1.6 fertility rate. A 2.11 is required. Canada is impossible to reverse. But with the Muslims immigrating to there, they will take over within 40, 50 years. There's already mosques going up in Canada. It's 2001 to 2006. 1.6 million population increase. 1.2 million from immigration. That was from 2001 to 2006. 1.6 million population increase. Immigration was 1.2 million of that. You see where the problems come? Right now, America, 1.6 fertility rate for the American, Christian, average American, basic American family, uh, despite religion, 1.6 children per family. Um, I'm no better than anybody else because I only have one child. I am no better than anyone else. I am part of the problem. Women don't want to have children anymore. They want to keep their figures. They want to, uh, you know, and men don't want to stick around to raise the children. They don't want to be fathers. Well, this is disaster, people. This is disaster. Fifty years, we we won't have the country that we have today. Although we have problems, it's still the greatest country in the world, as far as I see it. Right now, 1.6 fertility rate in the United States. In 1970, there were 100,000 Muslims. Today, there's a lot more. There are over a million Muslims. 
We must prepare ourselves for the reality that in 30 years there will be 50 million Muslims living in America. Because that's reality, people. And that was from the Islamic Strategy Conference in Chicago. That is reality. Our world is going to change. It is changing very, very fast. Now I want to show you some other things. The number of mosques in France has doubled in 20 years. This is um, in Islam versus Europe, where Islam spreads, freedom dies. Absolutely, because Sharia law kills all freedom. Let's look at something else. Um, the Muslim overtaking of France as mosques and as faithful. The results of a study by the Hudson Institute which provides a framework certainly unprecedented in the country's religious landscape. In France, there are more Islamic mosques being built and more frequently than Catholic churches. And there are more practicing Muslims than practicing Catholics in the country. Nearly 150 new mosques are currently being built in France, home of the largest Islamic community in Europe. The projects are in various stages of competition, completion according to Mohammed Mousi, President of the Muslim Council of France, who provides this data in an interview on August 2nd with RTL Radio. Okay, this is for real, people. This is for real. Mosques are being built at an alarming rate all around the world in countries that Islam has been unseen basically unheard I've seen mosques being built in my community I've seen people wearing burqas in my community where ten years ago I did not know much about Islam at all. Think about it. 20 years ago, did you know much about Islam? Did you know much about the Muslim faith, the Muslim religion, the Muslim problem? Did we deal with Muslim terrorists, Islamic terrorists, 20 years ago? No. Islam overtaking Catholicism in France. This is a story. Um, the Gatestone Institute, International Policy Council. Um, Islamic mosques are being built more often in France than Roman Catholic churches. Okay, well, we've already uh, talked about that. The total number of mosques in France has already doubled to more than 2,000 during just the past 10 years. Okay. He told us what would happen. He told us Omar Gaddafi spilled the beans years ago. 
that they were taking over the world without a gun or a sword or terrorism or anything. None of that is required. All they have to do is immigrate to that country with families and have children and live. And they will overtake that country if they have enough people immigrate there. They will overtake it and it will become Sharia law and it will become an Islamic caliphate an Islamic State. So, within 50 years, the United States is very, very possible. If things, if something doesn't change, the United States will be the United States of Islam. This is going to be a fact if things do not change. This is facts, people. This is pure mathematics. This is already known. Research it. Check it out. I'll leave the links below. I hope everyone's having a good day. And I hope we will do what we can to change this. Unless you will be comfortable with living under Sharia law. And I'll do more videos on Sharia law, what it is, and what's going on there later on. I hope everyone's well and having a great day. Um, you know, keep your eyes open, your ears to the ground. And uh, pay attention to what's going on. Research everything. Never take anything or anyone at their word. Double check everything. The media has been lying to us. And we uh, are living in some very, very serious times. Decisions they're making now will change our children's lives and change our lives. This is Chatty Dad 1. God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Second Amendment protects the first and the last and could save you and your family's life. And I'll put food on the table. And it's generally fun to uh, just go and target practice and stuff. But uh, take care. Prepare while you can. As long as you can. As long as we got time, prepare all the things you can. If you are prepared, you will not fear. And uh, take care. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.